Okay, let's set up the integral that will give us the volume indicated in this problem. Here's the graph of a rightward opening parabola with vertex at the origin, x equals 2y squared. <clears throat> and then we have this other parabola, y squared plus 16. That plus 16 moves the vertex to the right, 16 units. And we want to revolve the region between those two parabolas about the line y equals negative 17, okay, using the shell method. And the shell method says take 2 pi times a definite integral, in this case from negative 4 to 4, because we're integrating along the y-axis. Our axis of revolution is horizontal, so our typical shell is horizontal, parallel to the axis of revolution. And we want to multiply the average radius. Well, the average radius is the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of a sh typical shell. And since this little distance here is y, the total distance is y minus a negative 17, or y plus 17. That's what this is right here, an algebraic expression for the average radius. <clears throat> and then we want to multiply that times the height of a typical shell, which is the distance from here to here, which that's the uh, x-coordinate at the right, which is y squared plus 16. That's what x equals. Take away the x-coordinate at the left, which is 2y squared. So this is the height of the shell. Uh, which you can combine the y squared and the minus 2y squared. So there's your setup. Evaluating, well, you probably want to multiply those two binomials together, get an antiderivative term by term, evaluate from negative 4 to 4, and multiply by 2 pi. And here's what happens. Looks like this is a decimal approximation for the volume. Here's what happens if you multiply the two binomials together. Here's an antiderivative for this part. And if I evaluate that from negative 4 to 4, and leaving it as a fraction, 4,352 thirds, and if I multiply that by 2 pi, that matches our decimal approximation. So there's your exact answer right there. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.